Okay, so I wanted to share today the app that we're building for the stat development. So it's called C Builder, and it shows you the toolbox at the bottom now. What we want to do is give persons a quick snapshot of what current stats are trending. So right now you can see stat 250 is in its second generation. That means the first generation is already filled. And stat 250 is waiting for a person, so it's at level zero. Um, stat 375 um, just opened. So that means um, is now at level one. Um, that means it, someone has already chosen um, the level one. So someone has chosen to make a deposit. So it's waiting for a level two and looking for nine more persons. Now, um, you'll, you'll run through how the stat toolbox works. So if you press B in the app, um, it brings a toolbox. It shows you all the options available. So let me turn that off. Now, as you mouse over, use the mouse as a Windows app. So you put your mouse over this one. This shows you the first set of stacks. You can see this one is larger than the other stacks. And this one shows you a, a smaller stack. So the circles represent stacks. Now, this is pretty much um, where you want to, um, you know, have your credentials, um, send funds, your uh, work level card on the app we provide. And as you most over these two boss items, they, they highlight um, this little plus in is if you want to start your own stack, if you want to become a, a stack manager, you want to, you don't want to just put funds in the stats we have, you want to actually uh, create your own stats. There's a little plus in here. And then this one's a separate stats for those ones who, who created who have created their personal stats. This will, this little icon here allows you to join those. So these are not stats that are created by um, myself or my team. These are stats are managed by stat managers, right? So if you ever if you just want to turn on all of them, they press B here, yeah, highlight everything. Press B again, I highlight them, and as you mouse over them, they highlight. So I allow you to know what goes where. And then we, we want to build in some functionality. That functionality isn't set in as yet. Ready right, money, have pocket options, exchange. You can exchange your fund between members, or right, this simply just send. You don't you don't have to exchange. You want to send, um, Litecoin. You want to send, um, liquidity money. You want to send it to members. So instead of using those other platforms we have on the internet, we want to build our own ecosystem. So this is just a development. Um, it's gonna be available pretty soon. Um, persons can use this to um, quickly. I think most persons are going to use it mostly for checking the existing stat levels um, in the current trending stat because you must understand the 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 trending stats. The fast the stat gets filled up, um, you want to join those stats. So I'm it is not really gauged to push all of the stats. You want to have stat confusion. Is going to promote the ones that are really trending. So the app. Um, pops up showing you the ones that are kind of um, really trending and allow you to make it a snapshot between the one that just opened and the one is to, which is open and, and is actually doing really well. So um, I think that's personal would uh, really respect how the app is trying to gear you towards where you want to go. And at the top is just the crypto balance and these are multiples of 1,000 persons. So any value you see there, that's... Um, take in account this is a distribution across a thousand person within your physical proximity so that is it um see builder is the app at the bottom um is something i'm ha developing on a stack toolbox allowing to uh, have development access within the stacks or as well as creating your own stack which is the plus sign and also interfacing with the stats that our stack managers create uh, the at the bottom those features haven't been built as yet but we will build them as the app goes up